What's up, YouTube? We are back. Back on the axle. Uh, this time, we're getting ready to weld the truss on. I got a little bit more prep work to do. Uh, basically, I'm just going to take a Sharpie and mark everywhere that I didn't knock the paint off. I'll mark it, take the truss off one more time, make sure the paint's all gone, and it's ready to weld. Like uh, I mentioned before, we won't be able to weld that here, so I gotta load it up and take it with me to a different shop to use a bigger welder. Uh, I'm gonna knock out what little bit I got to do here. You'll see us, uh, well, me. Casey's not here at the moment, uh, but he will be here during the, the welding process. All right, I got the axle set up. Uh, what little bit of prep work I needed to do is done and I'm going to start by welding the tube to the casting um, I used the torch set heated that thing up to somewhere around 350 degrees um, it seems kind of controversial if you start reading online what people say the temp should be it seemed like two to five hundred was uh, generally what people thought best so I just kind of went right in the middle I don't think I even preheated the last one I did and it has been fine so at least we're doing that much. sides welded up it's pretty good I'm certainly no professional but <clears throat> I believe that'll hold and I have found a trick to putting this piece on so you can't just set this thing straight down from the top because it hits up here so you have to put the lower piece on with the like center support pieces and then you take this guy and kind of roll it in from the front, like so. And then, bada boom, there it is. And since I'm not worried about uh, the cold spring buckets like I was on the last truss that I did, um, I'm just going to center the hole up here for the breather tube and just let that kind of be my guide as far as how far forward or back to tilt this because when I do ball joint eliminators I'm probably going to tip the axle forward just a little bit to help with the pinion angle. I'm ready to tack this up so I'm going to tack everything up kind of from the outside to hold uh, the main body upright and the support pieces upright. Nothing for the top. I'll take the top back off so I can weld inside and then once that's all done, I'll set the top back on it and then weld everything on the outside. Alright, so I decided not to weld uh, the cast part in here. Uh, it just didn't make any sense to heat this up twice because I'm going to have to heat it again when I do the outside. So um, next time, I'll heat it all up, weld the inside, weld the outside, or weld the inside, 
put the top on and then weld the outside but I did just wrap it up um, I heated the cast up where the tubes are one more time um, and then wrapped it up to try to help that stuff cool at the same rate so it'll just sit like that overnight and the next time I'll finish welding this thing up and hopefully get started on my high steer arms she hot enough she's hot enough we got the supervisor here I wouldn't touch it <laughs> Now look, we're, we're not, I'm painting this because I don't want it to rust. It's ain't got nothing to do with looks, nothing like that. I just don't want it to rust. tell you that uh, low profile trust man Barnes they got that they got it down yeah that's a uh, good looking unit sexiest trust I've seen yet all right now we're on to putting on the high steer arms uh, the first step or well, the first thing that I did is go ahead and prep this uh, just kind of ground this down clean it up and we have to drill out the uh, the knuckle to accept these uh, massive one inch bolts and that is what Casey is over here working on right now so let's go check that out You can see what goes into this. We won't bore you with this entire process. Just get yourself a good one-inch drill bit and a big drill. And uh, go to town. Don't let it hit your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at that. God, look at that. So on the other axle, uh, we built custom high steer arms, and they've worked good, but we didn't do like a double shear setup like this, so it didn't bolt through. Um, I didn't even know Barnes made these when I did my other ones or I would have bought these at the time um, but we were really fresh to doing this so um, when I saw these I was like man if I ever build another axle 
I will 100% buy these uh, weld on bolt through high steer arms because I mean like I said my my weld on ones have been fine but now we've got a one inch bolt going through the knuckles so this thing should be very strong we got one more of these to do um, the axle sitting over there it's done I ordered parts today from Yukon I got gears a front locker u-joints an install kit um, all that stuff's coming out but anyway next time we'll probably be ripping the other axle out from under the Jeep um, or maybe you'll get a Comanche update between now and then who knows we might. anyways thanks for watching guys he's got to get to welding I got to go put this video together so you guys have something to watch Friday night thanks for watching and maybe one day we'll see you out on the trail peace Do it, huh? <laughs> <laughs>